Chapter 3 The Ghost of Christmas Past Scrooge walked around his room in his dressing gown, talking to himself. Jacob Marley said three more ghosts are going to visit me tonight while I'm sleeping. (laughs) If I stay awake, perhaps they'll never come. What is this all about, anyway? What did he mean? You still have a chance. The wind blew harder outside and the fire in the fireplace started to get low. Scrooge got into bed, which had heavy curtains around it. He closed the curtains to keep out the cold. I'll just sit here until the morning. I'm not going to speak to any more ghosts. All this talk about ghosts! It's a lot of humbug! Scrooge's eyes began to close, and before he knew it, he was asleep. Scrooge slept very deeply, and when he woke up, he could hear the church bells ringing. What's that? (gasps) Did I fall asleep? Ah. (laughs) You see, no ghosts. Slowly, the curtains around the bed were pulled open, and there... At the bottom of the bed was the ghost of a man with long white hair, dressed in white. He held a hat in his hand, and there was a strange light all around him. Frightened, Scrooge pulled the bedclothes up to his neck. (coughs) Who are you? What do you want from me? I am the ghost of Christmas past. What do you mean, past? Your past, Ebenezer Scrooge. I am here to show you how you used to be. Why? I know how I was. Tell Marley it's all right. I'll change. I don't need to see the past. But there was nothing Scrooge could do. An invisible hand pulled back the bedclothes and made him stand up. Come with me. We're going outside. It's cold out there. I'll freeze. Take my hand. Scrooge did what the ghost said, even though he didn't want to. The ghost's hand was soft and gentle, so Scrooge was no longer afraid when they walked through the wall. Suddenly, they were not in London anymore. They were in the country. It was daytime. There was snow on the fields. A road over a small bridge over an even smaller river led to a town. There was a church right in the middle of the town. Do you know this place? Scrooge felt a new joy inside him. This is where I was born! They passed several people, all wishing each other a Merry Christmas. Scrooge looked at them with happiness. I know all these people! Yes, but don't try to talk to them. They can't see us. Come, let us go to the school. It is not quite empty. Suddenly, Scrooge began to feel differently. School was a sad place for him. It was an old, dark stone building. They went inside. There was a small boy, all alone, reading at a desk. Scrooge tried to turn away. Don't show me this. But why? Don't you know who that is? Of course I do. But why do you want to show me this? My father left me here. Nobody knows what it's like to be a young boy all alone on Christmas Day. Scrooge's eyes filled with tears. Is something wrong? I was just thinking of another young boy I saw today. He came to my shop alone, singing Christmas carols. I didn't give him anything. Oh, take me away! I don't want to see any more! Come, there are more things which you must see. 
Scrooge did not argue. He did not have the strength. The ghost took him by the hand and they set off again.